After they've mastered the handstand rollout, we go on to a handstand bridge. So it's the same technique going into it. We're going to stretch into it in a nice big lever or T position. Handstand. Still the straight body, pointed toes. Then we're going to stretch through the shoulders and fall into a bridge like we did earlier on the incline mat. Okay, we want her arms to be nice and strong and have a firm support. And then we're going to kick back over and lunge. Good job. Okay, Kaylin. Again, the nice lever into it. Oh, that's okay. Then try again. We want to hold the handstand before the bridge, push tall, and then push through the shoulders, and then kick back over. Remember to kick with the dominant foot and lunge. Hope one more time. As you fall into your bridge, you really want to be pushing through your shoulders and not through your lower back. Going to hold the nice tall handstand, push through the shoulders. And then kick back over with straight legs. And Kaylin, one more time. Again, the handstand position is something we're going to use on bars and on beam and even on vault later. So we want that nice straight body without an arch in the back. And we want them to have complete control of their shoulders as they kick back over, nice straight legs, and always finishing with our arms by our ears. The handstand is a skill that we just can't practice enough, so we try to put it on every event, and we try to get as much practice possible in getting that nice pencil or that nice straight body shape.